Welcome aboard for an all new big world adventure. Let's visit different countries, make new friends together, and learn about other cultures. Race with other trains, create your very own train set, or build it with a blueprint. In Thomas and Friends Adventures, the world is just a train ride away. Tap this location to start a new adventure. Welcome to China. Tap on the activity to get started. Hello. Have you ever seen a dragon? When I was in China, I saw one. You don't believe me? Play and see for yourself. Let's run! There were lanterns everywhere for the New Year celebrations. It was so beautiful. It was also quite noisy. Yang Bao was trying to tell me what he enjoyed most about the festival. But all I heard was, you will carry the dragon. Wait, did he say the dragon? What dragon? Three, two, one, go! Use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Oh, wow! Drag a train to the track. Fantastic! <laughs> you did a great job! Look! A dragon jump! All aboard! Red lanterns are used for New Year celebrations. Three, two, one, go! Hold the big train button to go. Tap the boost button to zoom ahead. One, a rainbow mountain. I was a little embarrassed to tell Yong Bao that I hadn't heard what he had said. But he repeated it anyway, and it was clear. As a guest, I was going to carry the dragon. You're right, or do you like to climb trees? Giant pandas are great tree climbers. I was frightened. Dragons breathe smoke and fire, and they are pretty scary. But for Yong Bao, carrying the dragon was quite an honor, and he was happy to share it with you, Thomas. Three, two, one, go! Trace the white track with your finger. It's now time to have fun with your new special track. Let's add this one here. And you can erase the track with this button. Fill the meter to complete the activity and get an exciting new prize. Place a track piece or draw with your finger.
Well done! Oh! It's Young Bao! I was quite worried about carrying the dragon. What a great construction! How have you seen Thomas? I thought you were the dragon. Me? A dragon? Oh, a talking chicken? Thomas! Wait! You get a fish fountain! Let's ride! Three, two, one, go! Don't be late! It's a lion puppet! But then, Thomas heard young Bao say that he would be taking the lion instead. A lion? Oh no! I decided that if I arrived at the station first and filled my coaches with people, I wouldn't have room for the lion. You are right on time! I was so excited! The New Year party was amazing! Until I remembered the lion. I had to tell Yong Bao that I didn't have it. Oh, yes you did, Thomas. Everyone laughed. See, Thomas had brought the lion on board. It was just not a real lion. It was a puppet. Three, two, one, go! This railway is useful and fun! Well done! Did a great job! It's a dragon cave! And you should have seen my face when I saw the dragon. It wasn't a real one! Just another giant puppet! In the end, there was nothing scary at all about the New Year celebrations. And you learned something new! Xinyan Kwai Ler! It means Happy New Year! Niha means hello in Chinese. Niha.
learned that sometimes, when I get scared, I imagine all sorts of things. Just like when I thought I was going to see a real scary dragon. But it turned out to be something fun. It was just people dancing and carrying a big puppet dragon. And I loved it. So next time you get scared, talk to someone. And maybe you'll realize it's not that scary after all. Sodor! Welcome to Sodor! That's so exciting! If you have a pet, you probably know that animals have to be cared for. They also need to be kept warm in the winter. And sometimes, it can be a very tricky job. I remember a certain winter day on Sodor. <laughs> Let's rock! Snow is water that is frozen. It's so cold that it becomes... It was a wonderful snowy day. Unfortunately, I received word that the boiler at the animal park had broken down. It needed to be replaced so the animals wouldn't freeze. So, Thomas raced off to help. Three, two, one, go! Useful will this be? <laughs> Wonderful. A snowy mound. Thomas went on to meet with headkeeper Jack and he told him that Rosie was at Brendam Docks, waiting for a new boiler to be shipped. You are right on time! But then Rosie told me that the ship carrying the new boiler had been slowed down by the snowy weather. The new boiler wasn't expected until the next day, which would be too late for the poor animals. I had to rush to the animal park, even though the rails were covered in snow. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! Marvelous! Here's Rosie! I needed to find a way to keep the animals warm for the night. I decided to ask Sir Topham Hat for help. I had the best idea. We could take the animals to the steamworks. After all, it's the warmest place on Sodor. Three, 
two, one, go! Useful will this be? Works, I could only think of one thing to do. The animals were going to have to stay with the engines at Tidmouth Sheds, and I had to hurry back. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Splendid! some playful elephants! All I was ready to take them all the way to the steamworks. There was so much snow. I wished I could have been a plow train. Three, two, one, go! Now you can create the train... Place a track piece or draw with your finger. You are being really useful! It's an icy loop-de-loop! What a fun ride! This railway is useful and fun! Have you tried to put other engines on your own railway? I'm sure they would love it. I brought the animals back to Tidmouth Shed, sir. Well, Thomas, I was surprised to see the animals here, but since you couldn't get them to the steamworks, you were really useful and made a good decision. The animals will be kept safe and happy here. My hat! You did a great job! That's an ostrich! 
We had to work really hard, but we eventually got the animals to a warm, safe place. Oh, yes, it was all fine in the end. Oh, and I did get my hat back. You are right on time! Looking after animals is important and can be fun. Think about the animals around you and what they need to be safe and happy. Maybe you can find a way to help. Let's rush! Some animals, like some types of bears, hibernate or rest and keep warm in a den throughout the winter. Tanzania! Welcome to Tanzania! Wow! Did you see that? More than 100 languages are spoken in Tanzania. I was just helping Nia on the railway. She's such a great friend. Mind you, things weren't always like that. When I first met her on the continent of Africa, I didn't want her help, nor her friendship. You are right on time. Thomas had left Sodor to follow a new friend, Ace the racing car, around the world. I was going to follow Ace on his race from Dakar in Senegal, all the way to Dar es Salaam in the country of Tanzania. Three, two, one, go! Well done! It's Kobe the Grain! Thomas was having a fun time discovering this new continent. Meanwhile, I was looking for him everywhere. supposed to follow Ace, but he went on with his group, and I had to find a way to Dar es Salaam where they would stop next. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Splendid!
journey to Dar es Salaam was not easy. More trucks kept being added to my train. And that's when I met Nia, who cheerfully proposed to help me. Yes, Thomas. Even though you refused to help at first, Nia still helped by pushing your heavy train from behind. Let's ride! As we continued on our journey, we traveled through Nia's home country, Kenya. Three, two, one, go! Amazing job! some sand dunes! Thomas finally arrived at his destination, Dar es Salaam! It was time to look for Ace. You are right on time! Nia was still helping me, even though I didn't want her to, when something unexpected stepped onto the tracks. An elephant! Oh gosh, that elephant was ginormous! I didn't know what to do! Wow, but luckily, Nia knew exactly what to do. I did need her help after all. Wonderful! It's an African elephant! We're in a hurry. Three, two, one, go! Marvelous! In a railway. Let's ride. Ooh. 
It would have been so much easier to find Ace if there had been tracks everywhere across the desert. Three, two, one, go! You are being really useful! What a colorful car! These decorations would look fantastic on your railway. Try them in. Sometimes you feel like your friends can get in the way of the things you want to do by yourself. At first, I thought that Neo was annoying, always following me around, ready to help. Well, all I wanted to do was race with Ace. But I realized that I needed her help, and we became great friends. USA! Welcome to the United States! Let's discover this new place together! It's important to be careful and think about your actions. Something that seems fun to you might have different consequences on others. In the United States of America, I realized this when I played a trick on my friend Nia and ended up in trouble. You are right on time! Nia, Ace, and Thomas were traveling across the American West to San Francisco. Ace wanted me to take him to the Salt Flats for his next race. But Nia insisted that we needed to make our delivery. Three, two, one, go! Useful will this be? <laughs> Wonderful! You win a canyon loop! Let's ride! Ace convinced Thomas to play a trick on Nia. He told me his idea was to challenge her to a race. Or so I thought. Because then, he made me take a shortcut. Ace still had the Salt Flats race in mind. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! Let's go! You are very fast in Oh, <laughs> 
Great hug. Great job. There's Mount Topham Moor. And what happened, Thomas? You got lost in a mine. That's when you realized that you were on the wrong track. We had already gone too far to turn back. So we just kept going. A little too fast. Three, two, one, go! Well done! <laughs> Congratulations! It's Sam! You're right on time! But Ace didn't think it was too fast and was having such a great time! Then there was trouble. I didn't notice the rock lying on the rails. us, and he reminded me that the speed limit was there for a reason. A rainbow loop! The Grand Canyon is about a mile deep. While taking Ace to the salt flats, Thomas started feeling bad for leaving Nia. He decided to go to San Francisco to apologize. I miss Nia so much. I could see her everywhere, like in a dream. Three, two, one, go! Well done! Here's a belly tank car! Oh, wow! Play with all your new track parts and decorations in the free build activity as often as you wish. When you arrived in San Francisco, Natalie told you that Nia was going to board a boat to China. Ace was trying to convince me to stay. But I knew I had to find Nia before she left. I was so sorry. I didn't want our friendship to be ruined over a bad joke. 
Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! Let's go! You are right on time. I finally found Nia. I told her that I was sorry and that I missed her. I learned some great lessons on that journey. It's important to respect your friend's feelings and to consider the consequences when having fun or playing a trick. You did a great job! A cowgirl and her horse! Welcome to Italy! What a marvelous place! I love adventures! And most of all, I love to make amazing discoveries. I was lucky enough to travel around the world, and I learned a lot. However, visiting and exploring doesn't necessarily make you an expert, as I realized when I met Gina in Italy. Let's ride! Thomas and Gina were working on the Italian railway. She was really passionate about Italy's rich culture. She found it rather amusing that Thomas didn't know such landmarks as the Colosseum and the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I was upset by the teasing. It made me feel as if I knew nothing. I know a lot about the world. I visited the Taj Mahal and the Great Wall of China. I had to show Gina that I was an expert myself. Three, two, one, go! Use these parts, use these parts to build a train set. Place them on highlighted spaces. Amazing job! It's the Colosseum! Thomas was trying to prove himself, so he went on a mission to the beach alone. That's when I met Stefano. He was so impressive, so big. Stefano is an amphibious vehicle. He can float on water and ride on the ground. I had never met such an interesting vehicle. He would talk and talk. I mean, he knew so much about everything. I was curious to know more. Hold 
As I was about to leave, Stefano told me the story of the lost engine, who was also a curious engine like me. The lost engine was always on the lookout for adventure, but one day he simply vanished and nobody ever saw him again. Wow, the lost engine! I would love to meet him! Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Splendid! Marvelous! Here comes Gina! Thomas was so caught up in his story, he took a wrong turn. He ended up in an old abandoned mine. I called out for help! To my surprise, I heard a voice repeating help! Help! <gasps> It had to be the lost engine. I had found him. When Gina came to rescue me, she made me realize it was just my own echo. I felt so silly. You are right on time. Gina was teasing me. I didn't like it. I needed to prove to her that I could be an archeo... Archos... Archeo... <laughs> an archeologist, Thomas. You wanted to be an expert, just like Esther at the museum construction site. And then you saw something shining on the ground. Three, two, one, go! Amazing job! Congratulations! Look at those cows! I thought I had found an old artifact! A, a Roman chariot, maybe! The whole team started digging, but... It was just a broken tractor. Everyone had a good laugh, except for Thomas. Let's ride! I was annoyed by the teasing. I knew I could be an amazing adventurer and find treasure, like the lost engine. Once again, Thomas had ended up in the old mine, but this time, it seemed like he was really lost. I heard a call for help. I thought it must be my echo again, but then I heard it once more. Clearly, someone else was calling. Three. Two, one, go! It looks great! There 
loves the Trevi Fountain. There he was, standing right in front of me. The lost engine. He was real. He told Thomas his name was Lorenzo. He had been stuck in the mine for a long time. You tried these new tracks in the free build activity. Lorenzo was telling me how he got there when rocks started falling on the ground, blocking the entrance. We had to get out quickly before the mines collapsed. So we pushed on through the tunnels to find a way out. We couldn't stop in time to avoid crashing through the wooden barrier. We found ourselves hanging from a cliff over the sea. Stefano was more than surprised. Mamma mia, he said. What's going on here? We were so lucky. Stefano used his crane to rescue us. You should have seen the look on his face when he saw Lorenzo. The last engine wasn't lost anymore. Wonderful! It's the Commedia dell'arte! You are right on time! I was so proud. At last, I had made a great discovery. The greatest of all. <laughs> Lorenzo was an amazing engine. He had the most beautiful singing voice. Lorenzo and I raced all the way back. He even taught me how to sing Italian opera. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Wait for me! Let's go! Faster! Faster than the speed of light! You unlocked Lorenzo! All aboard! visited many countries and seen lots of amazing places. When I first arrived in Italy, I felt as if I had to know everything about its rich history. I pretended to be an expert in archaeology, but I soon learned that I didn't know everything. I even got myself into a dangerous situation. It's okay not to know everything when you're somewhere new. The best way to learn is simply to ask questions. Brazil! Welcome to Brazil! There is so much to learn about! Did I ever tell you how much I love music? Once, I was even invited to join a carnival in Brazil! Follow me on this adventure, where I discover new ways to play music. <laughs> Yo! 
You are right on time! I had traveled with my friend Ace all the way from Africa to Rio in Brazil, where we parted ways. In the Amazon rainforest, Ace was afraid of wild animals, remember? Yes, I was surprised to see him scared like that. But that's a whole other story. Three, two, one, go! Chukada! <laughs> boom, boom, cha cha cha! Boom, boom, cha cha cha! Oh! I would have loved to stay and listen to that music, but I had to deliver vehicle parts and iron pellets. It was quite a noisy cargo. Let's race! One, go! We can do this! Let's go! Station along the way, some people were playing music. They had missed their train. Wow, a real live Batucada band. They asked if I could take them to the carnival. Of course I could. On the way, the musicians started playing along with the cargo sounds. What had seemed like noise for Thomas was music to them. Do you have a laughing monkey back there? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the sound of the cuica, a Brazilian instrument. I was happy to be really useful and fun. It was like I had my very own musical soundtrack. You did a great job! Carnival musicians and dancers! You are right on time! Once they arrived at their station, the Batucada musicians thanked Thomas for the fun ride. And they even invited me to start the music carnival with them. I was so proud and excited. Three, two, one, go!
cool will this be? Did a great job! It's Cassia! Let's ride! It was suddenly so quiet without my cargo. I was worried. Without my good rhythm, how would I be able to start the music carnival? Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Don't be late! Marvelous! <laughs> We can do this! Splendid! Let's go! How great! Congratulations! It's Gustav! Let's ride! I went back to the carnival, quite embarrassed to admit that I couldn't join in and make a big noise. But the band leader laughed it off. All he wanted you to do, Thomas, was to blow your whistle to start the carnival. You could make that big noise. Three, two, one, go! You are being really useful. Some Brazilian musicians. Have you tried to put other engines on your own railway? I'm sure they would love it. I learned that you can find music and rhythm in many places. Whether playing an instrument, dancing along, or just listening in, everyone can enjoy music. Wonderful! It's a parrot! India! Welcome to India! That's so exciting! Friend, a mysterious palace exists in India. Play with me to meet a bunch of mischievous monkeys who live there. All aboard! It was a hot day on the Indian Railway. And Cherubala, the Indian Railway Controller, asked me to bring back coconuts for the vendor at the station. Coconut water is a great way to quench one's thirst. She asked me to hurry, so I needed to follow the right track. Three, two, one, go!
amazing job! <laughs> you did a great job! It's a pile of coconuts! Let's ride! So, Thomas raced after Rajiv to learn more about the monkeys. Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster! Faster than the speed of light! The Monkey Palace! That's what was on that sign! A mysterious place I wanted to visit so badly! You are right on time! I really wanted to see that Monkey Palace! And, if I hurried, I could still take the coconuts to Cherubala! Three, two, one, go! Well done! There were monkeys everywhere. <laughs> hello, little monkey. Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh, and, and hello to you, too. And oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't know what Rajiv was so worried about. Those were some of the nicest monkeys I'd ever met. But Thomas was distracted and still making up his own fantasy monkey palace. Three, two, one, go! Splendid! Archway! 
On my way, I saw a little monkey far from the palace. What was he doing there? As he was gesturing towards me, I understood that he was lost. You had accidentally carried him for a while, but left without noticing. Of course, you helped him back to his home. Let's ride! After taking the lost monkey back to its home, the monkeys helped me reload my empty trucks with new coconuts. I just needed to get back to the station. <laughs> no monkeying around this time! Thomas! Wait! Congratulations! It's a monkey palace! You are right on time! I was relieved to be able to bring the coconuts back to Cherubala. People were waiting for me, and my coaches were full of coconuts. Although I shouldn't have visited it, that monkey palace was amazing. I kept dreaming about it. I could have become Thomas, King of the Monkey Palace. Three, two, one, go! Well done! <gasps> you get a crown! One day, I could go back and visit it. But I would have to pay attention to what's going on. These decorations would look fantastic on your railway. Try them in the... Not paying attention can lead to unwanted mistakes. It's important to listen when someone warns you about something and to focus on what you are doing. Australia! Welcome to Australia! There is so much to learn about! I've told a silly story or two here on Sodor, but once... I twisted the truth so much that I got in big trouble in Australia. This is a true story, and that's no lie. <laughs> All aboard! I was working in the Australian Outback pulling goods trains. I heard my friend Shane shouting in a funny voice. Three, two, one, go! Useful will this be? <laughs> you did. 
did a great job. You win a swimming crocodile. Shane is a tour guide in the Australian Outback. I traveled with him on his guided tour once. It was a fun thing. Shane had a funny way of explaining things. He introduced himself as Shane the Plane, told a story about a crocodile hitching a lift, and presented luxury apartments for termites. The passengers were laughing along. Three, two, one, go! Marvelous! Let's go! Good job! Chomping kangaroo! You're right on time! One day, I showed up at Pine Tree Station. Shane wasn't anywhere to be found. Passengers for the tour were wondering where the tour train was, and of course, Thomas thought it might be fun to step in for Shane. I was sure I could be just like Shane and help the passengers have a great time. I started to make up stories and got caught up in my own imaginary stories. Three, two, one, go! Amazing job! You did a great job! You win a rickety bridge! Welcome to the Outback! A, um, wild, dirty land full of, uh, mysterious, weird things and funny-looking animals. Thomas was making it up as he went along, and he couldn't hear Aubrey as she was trying to warn him about the crossover. We have these giant kangarabbits and millions of crocodiles, and these here are, uh, luxury mansions for, um, ladybugs. Let's ride! Then, sidetracked by his stories, Thomas saw an engine passing by and rushed to catch up, thinking it was Shane. But it was Tamika! Let's race! Three, two, one, go! Faster than the speed of light! Let's go! Right on time! Congratulations! Come Shane!
Thomas had drifted onto the wrong track and it was too late to back up. Let's ride! Aubrey told me I was on the wrong track. I should have listened to her, but instead, I was caught up in my imagination. I kept on going. And we've got a big red bus driven by the Queen of Australia. Three, two, one, go! It looks great! You are being really useful! A waterfall! Thomas was too distracted to notice the broken bridge ahead. I got stuck on the bridge. I couldn't move. I didn't know what I was going to do. Play with all your new track parts and decorations in Thomas, you're causing confusion and delay. But sir, I just wanted to be a cool tour guide. What now, Tomo? Got yourself in trouble? <laughs> when I woke up, there weren't any crocodiles or a surfing Sir Topham hat, but I was still stuck on that bridge. But then... <laughs> it was Shane taking us back to safety. Isla the plane had flown by and warned Shane about our situation. <laughs> Wonderful! Here's Gordon! You are right on time! I guess there's a difference between making up jokes and making up facts. I was wrong to say such silly things about Australia. Australia is a country full of natural wonders, such as the Red Center and Kakadu National Park. It's also home to many unique animals, like crocodiles, termites, koalas, and kangaroos. Have you ever told a tall tale or said something that wasn't exactly true? I've made things up a few times. From now on, if I make something up, I'll make sure everyone knows it's not real. It's just a silly joke. 